Hello everyone, and welcome back to Plane. I hope you're proud of my five-day streak, or today would be the sixth day. Uh, but you, I have made a mistake earlier, which I will show you in a second. I was chatting away, and recording, and doing things, and then I realized that I was not recording. Sad times. But let me just switch that to afternoon uh, so that I can show you what I did. So all I did was, well, I talked about meditation for a little while, but before I do that again, let me show you what I planted. I planted the tree here. I wanted to plant it a bit closer. I was actually hoping to plant it right around here, but the game just didn't let me do that. So when I got this far away, it let me plant it. So I planted that tree. I wonder if that one will grow noticeably this time around. Maybe we can compare it with this. Oh no, this looks... These both look about the same, don't they? So that hasn't grown yet. And then I planted the grass, the two, this one, all around it. Five or six of them, I can't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe? And then number three... I planted around here and what I did over on this side these three that you could see is uh, the purple flowers number three uh, I put them on that side because you know I just felt like I should do something a little bit different there so those ones are on the outside these ones are on the inside I'll probably end up putting the purple ones on the inside and the outside and see how they how that pans out um, and I got to tell you, you know, there is something soothing about planting these things. And I'm really curious to see how it all kind of grows out and how I end up planting these things. That probably says something about my personality and my state of mind and my state of being at the points of my life at which I plant those things. Um, but the other thing I wanted to say was just about how I managed to get to this streak was just by finding some time just changing the pattern of my day a little bit so that I could fit it in and you know having said that now I may have jinxed it but we'll have to wait and see about that so right now what I'm doing is after my day at work I I meditate or I come and load this up and see what I can get on with today uh, I should also say that I really like fox the fox called wolf following me about it's really cute but, you know, that's one of the things about meditation is the busier you are, the more beneficial it probably will be for you. But that is also when you will probably find it the most difficult to find the time to actually be able to do it. By the same token, when you are going through a period of anxiety in your life, like perhaps with coronavirus or the COVID-19 going on just now, is probably when meditation can help you a great deal. But that's probably also the time when you feel like you just can't sit with that anxiety for long enough for meditation to work for you. And it is difficult, you know. I, I learned that myself yesterday. In yesterday's episode when I was sitting with a discomfort, you know, even, even though it was only for 10 minutes, it can feel like a long time when you're sitting with a discomfort. And that's me with a whole bunch of practice with sitting with discomforts in the past as part of uh, my personal therapy and stuff like that you know learning to sit with big emotions was a part of my journey but it does take patience and a good deal of strength to be able to sit through it so I would suggest that you know if these are things that you find difficult then take it easy you know don't don't push yourself too hard be kind to yourself and you know there is no you know, don't, don't, there's no point in breaking. It's just, it makes more sense to take the time and relax and go easy on yourself and give yourself the time to, you know, feel better about things. And, yeah, really feel better about things. On that note, Let's meditate for today. And uh, we have already done this one, this one. So we've done the sensations and we did the acceptance yesterday. 
uh, we've also done the breathing for calm. The deep relaxation and abdominal breathing I might leave for another time and I'm not really in the mood to do either of these the repetition meditation or the thought pages today. So what I will do is I will go back to the core inspiration for plain meditation. We will do the 10 minutes and if you feel up to it, you can join me in this one. Um, I hope you do. And I shall see you on the other side.
You are already that which you seek. You know, I believe that. Oh, you have a shrub seed planted. We only have a shrub seed. We don't have... Oh, we only got... That's interesting. We didn't get a tree or the purple flowers. Yeah, I was saying what, uh, what we saw there from Ramana Maharshi, uh, where he says that you are what you are already what you seek. It's a beautiful thing to say, and it is true. Oh, look! This one has some leaves. Huh. Wait, I don't know if that stick is still supposed to be there. It looks like they are both, they are like right next to each other as opposed to, you know, this one replacing that one. I will check that tomorrow. Um, yeah, we just don't realize that we are already what we seek. Oh, look, there is a little one here. I guess I just didn't see it earlier because it is so small and this one distracts from that one. Huh, that's interesting. Hmm. And I guess part of meditation is simply discovering who we are and finding out, and as we find out more about ourselves, we find that we are exactly who we want to be. That is part of the beauty of meditation. And I do enjoy it. I enjoy it when I am able to do it. And that's, you know, that's, it's worth the effort. And I guess the effort is really, yeah, okay, there is effort in actually sitting quietly and trying to watch your thoughts and all that kind of stuff as part of the process. But perhaps the bigger effort is actually to find the time and to actually make the commitment and following it through or following through with it on a regular and consistent basis. That is perhaps substantially more difficult than the meditation itself. I have certainly found that part substantially more difficult. I did the 30 days, you know, a couple of years back now, I guess, and then I did another five days after that. So I got that 35 day streak. And since then, I don't think I've really meditated, you know, apart from maybe once here or there, just to see what's changed until I started doing this series again. So. Maybe you need to find a, some, a motivating factor like this, like doing a series on YouTube or, or maybe, but I guess that's where plane comes in. It gives you motivation. It gives you these rewards each time you meditate. And it's apparently not really enough for me to keep meditating, but maybe it'll be enough for you. You know, see, watching these trees grow and this time around, there are a lot more things that happen each time you meditate. So maybe it would have me sticking around for a little bit longer. I hope so. Because it'll be nice to see these trees grow and, you know, be full. And I want to see what happens when we finish playing, you know, the bar at the top when that gets to the end. And then, you know, do we get to see the foolish fool? I think that's what was promised. And then Unlocking Evolve, I'm really curious about what is in there too. So hopefully I'll manage to stick it out until that happens. If that bar is anything to go by, I think we are maybe just over halfway. So maybe another 25, 20, 20 days maybe, which doesn't seem that difficult because I've already done the 30 days. So let's wait and see. Uh, fingers crossed, I will be able to maintain the streak and I'll be here tomorrow. Thanks a lot for joining me today and I'll see you again next time.